Hi, I'm Autumn and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing my January wrap up and my February TBR. So we'll be talking about the books I read in January and the books I want to read in the month of February. Some of the books on my February TBR are actually repeats from my January TBR books that I started but didn't end up finishing in the month of January. I actually exceeded my reading goal for the month of January. I read more than double what I expected to. However, I didn't stick to my TBR at basically at all. But I did enjoy what I read in January and that's the important thing. So let's dive in. The first book I read in January was The Door in the Wall by Marguerite D'Angeli. This is a historical fiction following the character of Robin. He was supposed to be a knight, however this takes place during the Black Plague outbreak in England, and he ended up getting sick and losing the use of his legs. So the story follows him as he goes on a journey to find sort of his new place in society as everything that he was told he was supposed to be and expected to be is no longer possible for him. Uh, this is a actually a very cute and fun story following this journey. This is actually a reread for me. I read this back in elementary or middle school and I loved it just as much the second time as I did the first time. I love Marguerite D'Angeli's writing. I love the way she writes characters and her setting. The second book I read in January was It's Your Universe, You Have the Power to Make It Happen by Ashley Eckstein. This is part autobiography, part inspirational nonfiction, where she tells her journey in her career as an actress, voice actress, and starting her clothing line, and it takes parts of her journey and ties it to different quotes and stuff from Disney movies, and so it's both telling her story and sort of inspiring especially young girls to follow their dreams and pursue their goals in life. It was a very fun read. I would love if she wrote a more in-depth autobiography. I liked her writing style and found her story very interesting and would love to read more about it. The next book I read was actually a reread. I listened to the audiobook of Dula Erluin by John Flanagan. This is the third book in the Ranger's Apprentice Royal Ranger series, which is the sequel series to Ranger Apprentice. I love John Flanagan's writing a lot and I love the audiobooks for his work. I enjoy the Ra Royal Ranger series a lot more than I expected to. When Royal Ranger first came out I wasn't a huge fan of the character of Maddie but the journey that she has gone on in the next few books in the series I really enjoyed and I'm looking forward to continuing the series. Next I read most of the Jedi Apprentice series by Jude Watson. This is a Legends canon series following the apprenticeship of Obi-Wan Kenobi to Qui-Gon Jinn. It is aimed at sort of a middle grade audience, so they're very short, very quick reads. There's about 20 books in the series. I've read so far 16 of them. I really like how it takes on some political commentary in talking about sort of the role of the Jedi in the Old Republic and some moral and social dilemmas that they're faced with as they go across the galaxy. I liked how nuanced and deep some of the questions they were asking were while still making it very accessible for its young audience. I really appreciate that about the series and I'm looking forward to continuing it. The next thing I read in the month of January was Fantasis on Fantasy. This is a non-fiction collection of essays by different fantasy writers. It contains essays on writing fantasy, what fantasy is, different elements that the writer considers important to fantasy as well as discussions and critiques of other fantasy writers and fantasy works. I enjoyed some of the essays more than others, but it was really interesting to get to see different opinions on it. Some of the writers I had read either essays or other fiction works of theirs, 
some I knew only by name or reputation, and it was really interesting to see um, their opinion and get a little taste of their writing. The last book I read in the month of January was Art Matters Because Your Imagination Can Change the World by Neil Gaiman. This is a collection of three speeches and essays that he wrote on the importance of art and reading. He also had one on libraries and their importance, which I really liked. I like his writing style. I like his opinion on art and the importance of art and reading and writing. And it was just a really quick and really fun read. So those were the books I read in the month of January. In total, I read 21 books. So now diving into what I want to read in the month of February. First off, I have the books from my January TBR. These are books that I started in January but didn't finish, and so my goal is to finish them in February. So first I have The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander, Avalon High by Meg Cabot, Revising Fiction by David Madden, The Thief by Megan Wallen-Turner, and Gone Away Lake by Elizabeth Enright. I also have a few other books that I started in the month of January that I want to finish. I have Christian Wisdom of the Jedi Masters by Dick Staub. This is a nonfiction book taking some of the ideas presented in Star Wars, parts of the Jedi Code and other things talked about in Star Wars and applying them to the Christian faith. I was expecting a more deeply theological discussion, taking more parts of the Jedi Code and applying it. Um, it's more of a devotional approach to it, which has been very interesting, and I've gleaned little things that I thought were interesting and want to apply. Then I also have The Mage of Trelane by Michelle Knudsen. This is the third book in the Trelane series. Uh, this is a middle grade fantasy series. Then I have the book that I chose for the February Read Your Shelf Challenge. The prompt for this month is a book with red on the spine or cover. So I chose The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. I thought this would make a fun sort of Valentine's read for this month. And then lastly, I want to finish the last four books in the Jedi Apprentice series. Those are the books I read in January and what I want to read in the month of February. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are on them and what your reading goals for the month of February are.